Hey guys, so I'm up close and personal right now because I'm gonna be doing kind of like a testing demo type of video. And I asked on Twitter if you guys wanted to see the new Pixie products by the YouTubers, like the YouTube collaboration, which is Whaley, Dulce Candy, and Chloe Morello. And I have all the products right here. And I also asked if you guys wanted to see the Urban Decay palette, but most of you guys voted on this one, the Pixie, so that's what I'm gonna do today. I will do the Urban Decay one probably next week, so you guys can still see that one. I just wanted to know what you guys wanted to see first. And this was the most, you know, voted up or whatever in the poll. So I have foundation, concealer, and like contour on because this line does not have those products in it. But I'm going to tell you guys what I think of all these products, if they're good, if they're not so good, just my overall opinion and how they apply and things like that. So. First we have this palette here. This is the Whaley eyeshadow palette. I think it's gonna make for a really good like travel palette. It has like tons of colors that are extremely wearable, so I'm really excited to try this. And then Whaley also came out with this eyeliner. This is a double-ended eyeliner. We have the coal liner on one side, and then we have a like liquid liner on the other. And then Chloe Morello came out with this palette. This is like an eyeshadow kind of palette here, and then we have three blushes. And then she also came out with this really pretty like holographic lip gloss. And then Dulce Candy came out with this lip palette, really pretty like multiple colors of lip, like lipsticks and more lipsticks than glosses. And then this is her highlighter kind of blush palette, I guess. Um, so we're gonna try out these as well. And I'm gonna let you guys know what I think of everything. So I'm gonna start out actually with Chloe Morello's palette. I'm actually gonna do my eyebrows with this palette. The thing I really like about this palette for one are these colors here. These are matte eyeshadows and I really like this because you can use them obviously for eyeshadows to do like a matte crease color because um, if you do too much shimmer like in one look it can be a little much. So I really like that she has the shimmer eyeshadows here and then the matte ones here. You can do a lot of really cool looks with that but you could also use these colors for eyebrows which is amazing because I feel like this would make a really really good palette to travel with because you pretty much have everything that you need if these work well for or for eyebrows. The only thing I don't like about this palette, and I'm just going to be completely honest, and I think that this could have been something really cool that they could have done, is taken out two of the blushes. I personally like this blush the best. Taken out two of these blushes, put in a matte contour color, something super universal like Hoola or like Laguna or something like that, and then put a highlighter here. So a highlighter, matte contour, and a blush, and they would have had these colors here for like eyeshadow and then the matte ones here for eyebrows and crease colors and stuff like that. That would have made this palette perfect because you would have been able to travel with this and I think they missed that really, really, really great opportunity with this palette. So that's what I would change. Another thing that I get really annoyed with with palettes sometimes, it's like a pet peeve of mine, is when there's two colors that are the same when you swatch them. And these two colors right here, this one and this one, are pretty much the same color. Like when you swatch them, they look almost exactly the same and I don't like it when this happens because like if you were to make a dupes video or something like you would literally use these two colors as dupes like they're that close and I feel like it's such a waste of a space for something different and so that's a pet peeve of mine and this tends to happen when the colors are far away from each other on the palette so you don't notice it as much and so I feel like that's kind of a little flaw to this palette but that's just me being kind of picky so I'm gonna go in with this dark brown color here it's a really nice ashy brown I think this is gonna be really really perfect for eyebrows so it goes on pretty well I'm not a huge like I used to be really into powder eyebrow colors like that's always what I used but now I'm so into the pomades and that's what I've been using for so long that I'm just not used to powders, but it is a really good color. Like that looks really, really good with my hair. Blends out really nicely. It's nice and pigmented. You could even mix this with maybe like a setting spray to give it good lasting power. So that's it for the brows. I think they turned out pretty good. I do like that color. And I feel like this color, this lighter shade, that would look good on redheads or on blondes. So that would be really nice. And then if you have really black hair, you have a black one there, or you could mix the dark and the black together, get a nice color. I think that these overall are just really, really good um, brow colors. So now I'm gonna go in actually with one of the blushes. I wanna see what these blushes are like. Let's swatch them. So those are the blush, blush shades. They're all really different, which is nice. They don't kind of have that overall same look to them. My favorite one actually is the darker one right here which is this one. I think that's the prettiest. I also love the peach one as well. So let's go ahead and just go into this darker one. It's 
So you don't have to be overly careful when applying it. It's not like it's overly pigmented to where you get like that big dark spot on your cheek, which I like. Sometimes I don't like blushes that are overly pigmented because they can be splotchy in a way. These are really nice and blendable. Do you guys see that? Super blendable. I like this color a lot. This is a really pretty color. Let's go ahead and blend that out. Yeah, those are really good quality blushes. Really, really good quality blushes. I absolutely love how blendable they are. I didn't get that patchy look. I didn't get kind of like that feeling where you put a blush on and then you can't blend it out. You know what I'm saying? Like these are extremely blendable. They have just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit of shimmer to them, but not enough to where it looks like a highlight or anything like that. So let's go ahead and go into Dulce Candy's highlighter palette. So my first thoughts with this palette is you, when creating a highlighter palette, you can't get too broad with the colors because if I'm able to wear this color, I'm probably not gonna be able to wear this color. And if you're able to wear this color, you're probably not gonna be able to wear this color. So I feel like the best thing to do with highlighter palettes is to have a dark palette and a light palette. That way you can kind of pick what colors work best for your skin tone because a lot of these colors I'm not gonna be able to use on my skin unless I use them for like eyeshadows. It's one of those things where like you have a palette for a long time and one color is used and then all the rest are kind of wasted because they just don't work on your skin. So that would be my first thing would be to maybe have two different palettes, one light, one dark, and I feel like it would probably go over a little bit better, but you know, that is just me. Now, as you guys know, I'm kind of picky with my highlighters, um, so hopefully I like these. Let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm gonna go into this one right here. So I feel like it's not the kind that you just like tap and you get like a lot of color payoff. You kind of have to like do this to it to get it on the brush pretty well. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. Ooh, I like that. That's actually really, really, really bright. It has that really nice shine. Um, like I said, you kind of have to work your brush into it, but you still get a really good color payoff. Like you can really, really, really see that highlighter. I really, really am impressed. Um, let's go ahead and go into this one right here. And the thing too is like sometimes I feel like with highlighters that don't work well, I have to go in with like a damp beauty blender to really get like good color payoff. And I thought that that's what I was gonna have to do with these. I thought for sure I was gonna have to use a uh, damp beauty blender to get that color payoff. But you don't, like these are actually really nice highlighters. I love how they look on my cheeks. I just feel like using like a pink highlighter might be kind of difficult. Um, I could see myself using like maybe mixing the pink and the white or the gold and the pink together to kind of give myself a little bit more of a champagne-y pink versus like straight pink, unless you want like a pink highlighter blush, which wouldn't be bad, I guess. Um, but I feel like I'm gonna be using like these colors the most, maybe this one down here. So now let's go into this. This is the Whaley eyeshadow palette. This is Let's Talk Eyes. And these colors are extremely wearable. This reminds me actually a lot of the It's Judy Time palette. It's the same vibe, like the same types of colors. I'll show you. You see that? Like. It's very, very similar in colors, I feel like. Um, but I love this palette. I use this palette almost weekly, so this is gonna be right up my alley as well. The only thing I notice in this palette is these three colors are so similar. And I, like I said, it's just a pet peeve of mine because I feel like this color is really pretty, but if you mix these two colors together, you can get this color. Like, let's even see. Let's see if I'm right. Do this and this together, and then the medium one. I'm right, look at this. So this is the dark and light one mixed, and that is the medium one. Almost exactly the same color. And so I feel like it's just kind of a waste to put such similar colors together. Like if they would have taken out maybe this medium one and put like a dark, matte, ashy brown, like it would have melded the palette together better to where you could do more looks. I feel like having these colors that are also similar really, really limits what you can do. I'm gonna go in with this lighter color there and I'm gonna go into the crease. I'm a huge fan of pixie eyeshadows, honestly. I think they're really pretty sometimes, sometimes, especially the older pixie shadows, the matte ones, can be a little bit uh, on the chalky side, but I use my pixie eyeshadows so frequently. I just love them so much. I just love the colors and I'm just a fan of them. For some reason I just use them a lot. So there's really not a lot of fallout on my cheekbones, which is nice. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this darker one here and I'm gonna put that kind of in the outer V and kind of darken up the crease.
All right, so there is the eyeshadows. As you can see, really pigmented, really beautiful. Zero fallout, guys. Like, zero. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. Do you guys see that? That's really pretty. Let's go into this shimmer color right here. I'm gonna go in with like a flat brush. And I'm just going to, I'm gonna actually spray it with Fix Plus because I think this is gonna have fallout, like, yeah. I'm gonna go into this and then I'm just gonna dab it onto my lid. Kind of dry it doesn't have like that um soft glitter not glitter soft shimmer it's like that dry shimmer and I don't like dry shimmers because th those are the ones that have a lot of fallout um, but I feel like spraying my brush is helping but without spraying my brush down first I feel like this would be a hard color to apply but it's pretty all right I'm gonna go in with this dark color here and I'm gonna put that in the outer, the outer V, just to darken it up. This color is buildable, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's true to color. It looks way, way, way darker in the palette, and then you get it on your eye, and I feel like it's not as dark as you would expect it to be, and it is shimmery, which is why I think this would benefit from like a matte brown color in the palette. Um, and I'm getting a lot of fallout. Do you guys see that? All the fallout right here? And it's because this eyeshadow is shimmery. It's like a shimmery brown, so the fallout is pretty gnarly right there. It brushes off really easy though. Like it doesn't stick to your skin. So that's good. That just brushed right off, but. So let's go into this highlighter shade. So this um, highlighter color is better. It's shimmery, but it's a little bit more on that velvety soft side, so it just shows up a little bit better on your eye, and it doesn't kind of like fall right off. Highlighter is great, the two shimmers are so-so, but the mattes are phenomenal. So I do like this look, you just have to be a little bit careful with the fallout, because you will have it. So let's go ahead and go in with this eyeliner. Let's try the coal part. Okay, that's nice, I like this. This has a really, really nice dark black look to it, and I do like it because it's twist up, and I think it's hard to find good twist up black coal liners. I feel like it's just a hard thing to find. Yeah, I like this. I would definitely use it. Okay, now let's do the eyeliner side. So this is a felt tip liner. You guys know I don't like felt tip liners, but this is really, really black. Black, black, black. One of the blackest eyeliners I think I've used ever. Like, this is a really black liner. You guys, I drank too much coffee this morning. I can tell, I can always tell if I drank too much coffee when I do my eyeliner. Okay, let's do the wing. This is the real test right here. Um, okay, my first thing about this eyeliner is it's really, really, really black. Two thumbs up for black eyeliners. But you guys know me, and this is just my own personal preference, I don't like felt tip liners. I think they're so hard to work with. It's just not my personal preference, but I know a lot of people love them. Um, I feel like this was kind of hard to make a good wing. I still did it. Um, it's doable. I just feel like I... <laughs> had to go in with my favorite, which is the Physician Formula, and I had to like fix it a little bit because I'm so obsessed with this one. And so I kind of had to fix up my wing a little bit with this one because I prefer the tip. It's one of those brush tip ones, and I had to save myself with this one. But that is just me. If you like felt tip liners, you will like this. And I feel like it's not drying out. You guys know that that's my biggest pet peeve with felt tip liners is when they dry out. This one isn't drying out. One thing that I can say about this eyeliner is I'll definitely use the coal side for my waterline. I really, really liked that. But what I think I'm gonna use this for is for my lash line 
because sometimes I don't like when my physician's formula one, I don't like how small the tip is to do my lash line because sometimes I just want to get like a nice thick line on my lash line as fast as I can. And then take this one and do my wing and I think this would be a really good combination. So this one, Pixie Lipstick Palette. This is the Dulce Candy Lipstick Palette and this is in Sugar and Spice. Okay, first of all, I'm not a fan of palette form lip products. I'm just not, I've never liked them. In fact, I almost despise them. I just am not a fan of them. Judy came out with one as well, and I'm just not a fan of it. I just never use it. I just think they're messy, and I would just rather have like Dofa applicator. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and go into one of these. I'm gonna actually use this one, because I think it's really pretty. Ah. Uh. They're, they have that silky vibe to them, you know? It's not like overly matte where it's like pushing your lips around like while you're trying to apply it. Like they glide really nicely onto your lips. I don't know, like it's not sticky at all. It's not matte, it's not drying. It's really moisturizing. I really like the feel of these on your lips. All right, you guys, my internal temperature on my camera got too hot, so I had to take a little break. But we're gonna go ahead and go into this Chloe, 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 <laughs> Chloe Moe, Moe, Chloe Morello lip gloss, and this is in Cake. This is the prettiest freaking lip gloss I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, this right here is worth everything. I'll show you guys. It's like a gold lip gloss. The holographic colors are like rose gold and yellow. It's like a rose gold lip gloss. I don't know, it's like the prettiest thing I've ever seen. This is what it looks like in the tube. Oh, it's so pretty. So this just adds a little bit of like shimmer to your lipstick, like sh sparkle. You can't see the gold really, it just kind of like blends out, it just kind of looks like a clear lip gloss with some gold flux, but it's really pretty. Hmm, I like that color, I really like that. Okay, so this. Like I said, clear lip gloss with like a gold flux. That's what it looks like on your lips. But this has no stickiness to it at all. It's that really silky, thin lip gloss that just kind of like, just feels so soft and silky on your lips. There's not a tacky drop in this formula at all. You're not gonna get that tackiness. This is a really pretty everyday color. Like this is a good color to have in your collection that you could put over literally any lip stick or liquid lipstick for that matter and you'll just get a really pretty golden like flux to your lips and it just feels so comfortable on. All right you guys so overall review of these products I'm not going to go into too much detail because I feel like I did during the video but this 100% worth it love this so much I'm definitely going to keep this in like my everyday makeup collection and use this like on a daily basis because I love it. This I like this I think that this has really really good potential I just wish that they would have put a matte contour and a highlighter in this and I feel like they really missed out on a really good opportunity for like a travel palette. You would have everything that you would need in one palette, but they just, they put two blushes in and I feel like they could have done something different, it would have been better. So a little bit in on the color selection, but overall I think that this palette is really worth the money because you're getting so many different things with it. Next up that I was super, super surprised at was this. Amazing color payoff. You guys know I'm picky about my highlighters. These are good highlighters. Um, I Would I say that they're as soft as like the Oprah ones? No, but I love, love, love how they look on my cheeks. These were surprising to me. I really like them. I think she did a great job. I just wish that these were broken up into two separate palettes because most of these I'm not gonna be able to use. Next up is this palette. Good colors. I love kind of what she did with this palette. I think that it's a really good, everyday neutral palette. The only issues that I had with this was these two shimmer colors. You need to spray your brush with like a setting spray first or after, like if you dip it and then spray. It's kind of like that dry shimmer versus really like satiny shimmer, if you know what I'm saying. I hope that makes sense. Um, and I wish they would have done a matte kind of like ashy brown with this instead. I think that they could have done that and it would have kind of given this palette a little bit more like variety, if that makes sense. But overall, I think I'm definitely gonna use this palette. I do like how my eyes look today. I think it's really pretty. Um, you just have to kind of play around with it and how you kind of want to use it. You know what I mean? I'm not a lip palette. This is not something I think I would buy personally just because I don't like lip palettes. 
but I do like the formula of the lip products because they're really silky and they're not drying. If you don't like liquid lipsticks or even matte lipsticks that are really drying, then you will like this because they're super moisturizing. They're really like silky, almost glossy, but they have a good color payoff as well. And then this, this I think is a good product. It just depends on preference. Like I said, I'm not a felt tip liner girl. So I will definitely use it for the top lash line and then I'll use my favorite one for my wing part. Um, but I love how black this is, so, so black. And also I swatched it on my um, hand yesterday. This is a swatch from yesterday. Really good staying power, obviously. It doesn't like smudge very easily, so that's really good. Um, overall, I think that this is a great product. I just feel like the felt tip part is just a little big. That is my overall review on these products. I hope it was kind of helpful. I hope I kind of gave you the overall gist of what these products are like so you can kind of make a decision if they're right for you because I know everyone kind of likes different things in products. But overall, I feel like the girls did a really good job with this line. I think I like most everything. There was just a few little issues here and there that I had problems with. So I hope you guys liked this video and I hope it was helpful for you guys. And let me know down in the comments if there's any products that you think you're gonna buy from this line. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I think I'm gonna do the Urban Decay eyeshadow palette next. So I hope you guys like this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye.